This video gives a brief insight into service management, focusing on the scheduling of staff, booking an appointment, and checking staff movements through a route planner on a map. It also highlights equipment, license and skill requirements, as well as service workflows. Here is the MIB Advanced Field Service module. Starting with the calendar board, as you can see, the screen is split into two sections. The blue dotted line indicates the start time of the working day. On the left hand pane, we can see unassigned appointments, and on the right, the calendar of the service engineers. We can see the date for the expected job, and this can be cross referenced to the service engineers' schedules. By minimizing the left hand pane, we can expand the view of the right hand pane. Note the day selector in the top right corner. Staff can be filtered and the view can be transposed to show time intervals across the top of the screen. The calendar also allows for additional time selections such as working time, weekdays and book days. As you can see, the calendar supports staff filtering by skills, license types, services or service areas. From the calendar, you also have the ability to book a new appointment. A new window will open where you can assign the customer, assign the branch location, and provide a description of the appointment. In the staff tab, you can select an employee from a particular appointment. The staff selector facilitates filtering by skill. As you can see, Michael Andrews is the only employee who has a database management skill. However, Ms. Hu Ming has hardware installation experience. You can choose the type of service you want to perform from a list of inventory ID items. You may also select a billing rule. Under the settings tab, you can choose the estimated end and start times of the appointment. Depending on the service appointment, you can also select the inventory items used on the job. If any equipment is needed, that can also be booked onto the appointment. Let's now go and take a look at the staff appointments on a map from the service menu options. Give the screen time to refresh and pick up the various GPS locations. In the left hand pane, you can select the employee you want to review and also the date. Moving to the next day, we can see the appointments for Michael Andrews in and around Sydney CBD. By selecting the location, you can view the travel time involved between each of the locations, which allows you to plan ahead and accurately schedule your staff. From the services menu option, let's take a look at equipment. The equipment menu lets us see if equipment is our own or belongs to a customer. There is plenty of general information we can capture along with the supplier the equipment is purchased from. All warranty including warranty on component parts is stored against the equipment record. Going back to the services menu, we have the licenses screen. The licenses screen allows us to easily view and retrieve license information per staff member. From the services menu, you can also manage all skills that are required to do a service job within your company. The services menu also has workflow stages. Service order types can be assigned to a workflow of stages that determine the required workflow. That concludes this brief overview of the MYB Advanced Field Service module. Get in contact with Momentum today to learn more. Thank you.